Our video by Black Unicorn Fan Fictions kindly do not copy and read the disclaimer carefully. Or you may just ignore it. Like the way you ignore your books. One stood in front of the mirror, adjusting her heavy gown. She has been sipped up into an hour. Her father's wishes and Taeyong's ambitions had led her here, married to Kim Taeyong. The mafia hire with a heart colder than December night. Taeyong needed a wife to secure his position. And Wyan's dad needed Taeyong's help to expand his business. Simple, mutual benefit. No feelings, no love, just business. Taeyong entered in the room with cold expressions. Ready? Yes, sir. Yes, call the photographer and let's take a pic. I don't. Mr. Oli. Yes. Wyan pulled Taeyong closer. Take our pic. My camera broke. He went outside in search of Park Jimin. I, Beach, let's get one thing clear. This marriage is strictly for business. Don't expect anything beyond that. Could you help me scratch my back? Spinning slightly to show her place, Peaches, where the fabric was digging into her shoulders. What? You want me to scratch your back? Behra gaye ho. Yeah. The dress is so tight and I can barely breathe. He hesitated, staring at her like she had just suggested biting Namjoon's thighs in front of Jungkook. Hold still. His fingers found the spot, lightly scratching. Wan closed her eyes, smiling a little and moaning in satisfaction. That's the spot. Just a bit more to the left. Is this part of the marriage deal too? Calm down, my daughter. Just because you don't want to be. A husband doesn't mean you can't help out with an itch. This isn't some fairy tale wine. Don't get too comfortable. He left. I ignored his words and started fixing my hair. Next day, Wyan is sitting on the couch and waiting for her brain to wake up. Taeyong came out of his room after getting ready for the office. Don't go out without my permission. He left. 6.9 minutes later, Wyan is sitting in the coffee shop and sipping her coffee. Do not go out without my permission, huh? If I had been so obedient, I would have been a Prime Minister today. After listening to golden advices of my grandfather. Hey Wyan, wow bitch, I was just waiting for you. She is my community cousin. You are sitting alone? In a restaurant on the first day of your marriage? I was telling my mom. Taeyong will never accept Wyan as his wife. I mean, he looks like a Greek god and you? Chi? What? Saw your reflection in my eyes? If you think that was savage, then please get a therapy. Wyan? Oh honey, you are late. Why is he even here? I'm sorry princess. I got an important call. Wyan got cringe but fake a smile. Let me order coffee for you. I don't drink coffee. I'm extremely hungry and I'm planning to eat e your food. I excuse me. I need to go. She ran away. What are you doing here? He pinned her on the wall. Ooh. Whoa. No self-control. We are in public. Behave. I told you not to leave the house. Do you know the definition of a conversation? An informal, usually private. Talking with two or more people exchange their thoughts, feelings or ideas or in which news or information is given or discussed. But you didn't even let me talk. Why? My enemies are everywhere. Don't worry, I won't harm them. They will dislocate your peaches. You are supposed to protect me. That's why I asked you to stay at home. You didn't ask, you told. You should have removed your stinky attitude from your nose before talking to me. You didn't vote me. If you can't have a respectful conversation, I need divorce. Where did I trap myself into? Why in Slachi Bolala land? Move aside. My coffee is getting cold. She started sipping it. I was busy in my work. I work from home. Because my eyes can't tolerate humans whole day. Suddenly, Taeyong entered in the room. I removed my specs and raised my eyebrows. 
So, you're gonna sleep here tonight also? What do you mean by tonight also? I will sleep in this room forever. My room has a nice bed too. Enjoy. She wore her specs again and started working. You are my wife. I think we should sleep in the same room. I am not interested to sniff the fart of a man who isn't interested to take my responsibility. And to take this marriage seriously, kindly shut the door after going out. The audacity? If you weren't my wife, I would be happy. I can't tolerate answers like this from anyone. Then why are you even talking to me? He left after Nakfulake. I was in a bad mood because of my boss, who is forcing me to come to office. Well, we dated for a few months, but his behavior was so obsessive, I started feeling suffocated in the relationship. So I broke up, but he never stopped sucking my blood. This is the main reason why I work from home. I shouldn't have talked to Taeyong like that. Few minutes later, ding dong, what? Wayan came inside with a piece of cake. He made a poker face and scoffed. You can't seduce me with a cake. She sat in front of him and started eating. So, I was saying, as expected, I wasn't in a good mood because of my boss. Now you want me to make your mood better? That's why I misbehave with you. I would like to apologize. Okay. No, you are supposed to say it's okay, love. Even I was a jerk to you. You don't have to apologize. What? I'm sorry, I wasn't ready to take this big responsibility. I guess it was so immature of me. Forget what I said on our wedding day. I will treat you like my wife and will try to tolerate your annoying features. All the best. He pulled her closer by grabbing her thighs. I am craving for something sweet. Wine blushed and leaned in. Shameless speech. Thayun took the slice of her cake. I will see you in the court. She left. Jack, come back. Roz, duck off. Let me drown peacefully, please. I am wrapped up in a blanket and getting bored, so I decided to make some depressing fake scenarios in my mind. Suddenly, Thayung entered in the living room with a box. I snatched the box and opened it. I noticed you were eating this sweet dish in our wedding. I assumed you like it. This is my favorite. Hug him tightly. You are so lucky to have me. Thank you so much for existing. I need to use washroom. She ran away. Thayung lounged on the couch, scrolling idly through his phone. The house was silent. Wyan having disappeared into the bathroom for her usual hour-long ritual. He glanced at his watch, rolling his eyes. Just then, a buzzing sound cut through the quiet. Wyan's phone, resting innocently on the coffee table, light up with a notification. Out of pure curiosity, he leaned forward and glanced at the screen. Missed seeing you in that red dress today. Think you would look even better if it were on my floor instead.